Buddy Balding Stadium here in Farmville, Virginia. The spot tonight for midweek baseball between the Atlantic 10 and the Big South. As we get set, it's Salute to Heroes night here at the ballpark. Uh, plenty of action in the parking lot, and that's uh, not even counting what we're going to see out on the diamond tonight. Welcome in, everyone. Corey Hodges and team back here with you on ESPN Plus. Tonight's broadcast being brought to you by Hercules Tires right on our strength. You can visit HerculesTires.com. By Sunbelt Rentals, we have equipment for that. By First Citizens Bank, Forever First. And by Jersey Mike's, a sub above. As we get set to take a look at Longwood's starting pitcher tonight. Out on the mound is Guillermo Garcia Jr., the Junior with a 508 ERA. You see his numbers there on the screen. One and two record on the season. 28 and one face and has 30 strikeouts. So Garcia Jr. with the start tonight for Longwood. And we'll see the Rams here momentarily getting set to start just past six o'clock on this cooler Tuesday night. It was in the 70s for most of the day. It's just under 70 now. It'll get into the high 50s by the time we're finished. Maybe low 60s, but again, no major rain threat as VCU at 23 and 25, 9 and 9 in the Atlantic 10. Longwood 19 and 28, 8 and 13 in the Big South. Here is the starting lineup. One through nine for the Rams of VCU brought to you by Sunbelt Rentals. Mathis, Bean, and Ike up to begin this one for VCU as we are ready to go. Guillermo Garcia Jr. ready for his first pitch. And it comes at 6.02 on this Tuesday night. We're off and away here from Farmville. Nice to have you aboard here on ESPN+. Plus. All that extra rain's really helped kind of brighten everything up, hasn't it? Burt, the uh, freshman with an 8.56 ERA. He'll look to uh, trim that down tonight. 2-2 two and two record on the season. There's the rest of his numbers 21 strikeouts and just over 27 innings of work for Burt who starts tonight for VCU he will face Keandre Shelton Dylan Wilkinson who was busy in the top of the first and Elliot Dix first three up for Longwood as here is Keandre Shelton junior 225 mark for Shelton 20 base hits four doubles a triple three RBI Burt's first pitch to Shelton. He spins out of the way of that one, 1-0. One oh. Here's Dylan Wilkinson, the junior, who bats 217. Here's a look at the starting nine for Longwood. Already saw Shelton with a fly out to Amos a moment ago. Wilkinson, Dix. Then you see Ryan at short. DeLeon in left. Colin Hughes will DH tonight. Kowalski will catch per the usual for head coach Chad Oxendine's team. Counts 2-0. Here to Wilkinson, Jr., who bats 217. Three home runs on the season, four doubles, has driven in eight. And A did a good job cutting it off, and B had the back half of that. This ball is flushed off the bat of Gregory Ryan, who has all that home run power, and he shows it off again. Deep to center field, 400 plus off the bat of Gregory Ryan, his 12th home run of the season. Dix at second, he'll make it a two run home run. And Gregory Ryan salutes this pretty packed Tuesday night crowd. If anyone's going to bring the long ball energy for Longwood, it's Gregory Ryan who just smashed it to center. And that's just another no doubt home run for Longwood's shortstop. Matthews Mobile Media, located in Greensboro, North Carolina, proud corporate sponsor of Longwood University Athletics, providing architectural graphics for colleges, universities, sports teams all around the country. You can visit them at MatthewsMobileMedia.com. Two and two, Amos popped up. Play is from Dix at third. Kowalski also has a look, and Drapen Kowalski Look at that play. Never really in balance the whole way. And somehow he was able to keep what balance he did have and pull it down for out number two. One of the more athletic plays you'll see 
from a catcher anywhere this season because sometimes those either fall foul or Dix has the better play at it. Draven Kowalski. Here's Harrison Long who's up. Now VCU can hit. That's obvious just by the numbers. Long gets a base hit. It was just his 55th AB of the season for the sophomore Long who's working second base tonight, but his 14th hit of the season. So now runners at first and second here for VCU. Hercules Tires, the official tire of the Big South Conference for over 65 years, providing tires with unbeatable quality at an unmatched value. Whatever the vehicle and whatever the terrain, Hercules Tires inviting you to ride on our strength. For a retailer near you, visit HerculesTires.com. We're back. Bean, fly ball, right field, still drifting. The leap at the wall, and that's a home run. Just over off the bat of William Bean, who cleared it, despite the leap from Keandre Shelton, who's been involved tonight offensively and defensively couldn't catch it off the bat of William Bean who homers for the seventh time this season and via himself collects RBI number 37 and this is now a 2-1 game in the top of the third two and two is chopped couple big high bounces fielded by Bean at short but the ball is out of the glove at first of Tilgus and the run will come across the score. That's Kowalski who will play on an error and Longwood leads it three to one. Tonight's broadcast here on ESPN Plus uh, being brought to you by Starry, a crisp, clear burst of lemon lime flavor. Pick yours up today. Come from a hind win by Duke in game one, the second one canceled due to weather. But Hickman, he was last out there against Radford on April the 29th as part of that doubleheader. You see his numbers there. Hickman with the 9Ks, just over 17 innings of work. Had a nice series against Campbell back on April 14th and also appeared on April the 16th against the Camels when Longwood got that big Saturday win. Had two strikeouts and about four innings of work. And was especially good in that inning he came in for against Longwood on the, uh, against Campbell rather, on the 16th. Longwood, three and one. That got inside. It was going to miss, but then I think it made a little bit of contact, too. Either way, it was going to be a first base for Benzen. And here comes Ike from third. And this is now tied at three in the top of the fifth. That was a hit by pitch, so it extends a run of either a walk or a hit by pitch for Longwood pitching. So Hickman came in trying to calm things down, but this streak, Bean walked, Ike walked, Selden walked, Tilgus walked, Benson just hit by a pitch, and the last two up who have gotten to first, and that's played to two runs, Bean and Ike. Now tied at three here in the top of the fifth. But can Van Vickel get Amos and Long on back-to-back -back Ks? He's got Long here down at the count one and two and trying to keep this tied and prevent anything further here for VCU. Swung on, missed Van Vickel. A strikeout to end the top of the fifth. And that is the substitution on the mound Longwood wanted. Aiden Van Vickel comes in back-to-back -back strikeouts. And this game stays tied at three. Home fifth next on ESPN+. Plus. This Big South broadcast tonight being brought to you in part by Hercules Tires, right on our strength. Visit HerculesTires.com. By Sunbelt Rentals, we have equipment for that. By First Citizens Bank, Forever First. And by Jersey Mike's, a sub above. Norfolk State on April the 4th. He put together a nice streak with a handful of double-digit hit games in there. Gregory Ryan Jr. rips one through, bounces into right field. Wilkinson will score. Ryan Jr. hustling back to first. It's an RBI 
single. Dix will move to third. Plating is Wilkinson. Longwood leads again 4-3. As Gregory Ryan Jr. goes to two for three with three RBI. Having a, having a great midweek night so far as Longwood shortstop. Here's Luis DeLeon, who's 0 for 2. One and oh, Ike pops this one up left field. Under it is DeLeon. And from third, tagging is Erickson. And he will plate. It's now 5 4. Advancing is Mathis to third. Bean will hold up at first. One run game anew on the sack fly off the bat of Ike, who has his first RBI, RBI of the night. Goes to 0 for 3, but has a ribby. Nice view of the action. Salute to heroes night. That gets through. Base hit off the bat of Keandre Shelton. Rounding second is Kowalski. He will slide safe at third. And Longwood has runners at the corners. First and third with one away here in the home sixth in a 5-4 game. And there's a look. There's a look at the fire truck. It's part of our... Uh, festivities tonight, the Salute to Heroes night, as you see it there out in the parking lot. That's what we were talking about earlier. This whole night is a chance to thank firefighters and, and EMT members and anyone who keeps the community safe. And also mention it's Prince Edward Farmville Youth Association night, too, so gives a chance for all of those community members to be thanked. And we did have the fire truck. All the kids love the fire truck. This ball is hammered right off the bat of Mathis. Still drifting, still going. It's just out of the reach of Shelton. Scoring is Amos. Scoring is Erickson on a two-run RBI double off the bat of A.J. Mathis. Flushed it to right field. A little bit more harder struck, and that thing would have left. But VCU will be happy with that. 6-5 now. The Rams lead Longwood by one on that two-run ribby double off the bat of A.J. Mathis. And did it with two away as well. And here's Hayden Harris. Some bewilderment there. Even Gregory Ryan looking over towards the closest umpire. This is flushed off the bat of Harris. Drops down into shallow left. Rounding third, and Gregory Ryan's going to score. And this is now... Seven to six, Longwood in the home seventh. So the Lancers get the lead back in their home inning following the stretch. And this happening now with two away. Elliot Dix trying to get down left. It will stay fair, just barely. Kowalski will score. It's 8-6, to six, Longwood, but now caught between first and second. Trying to get back his dicks. He will not and gets tagged out by Ethan Brooks, who's a new second baseman for VCU. Brooks got him trying to hustle back. I think that time it was Dix who maybe thought he could keep running it out. He gets tagged, so that's out number two. Kowalski scores, getting to third goes Shelton. And now that brings up Gregory Ryan, Jr. This is usually where William Bean is really good with two strikes. Bounces this one, Gregory Ryan, Jr. The play is at first to end the game. And Gregory Ryan, Jr. makes a play, links up with Kemp to get Bean. And Longwood's won it 8-6 to six on a Tuesday night in Farmville, Virginia. The regular season series split between VCU and and Longwood, 5-2 winners earlier this season. The Rams at the Diamond tonight here at Buddy Boulding, about an hour and change away. Longwood wins it 8-6 on a, a fan favorite Tuesday night. There's the final as Longwood gets the win. Now 20-28 and 28 overall. And VCU now 23-26. and 26. Both teams have their conference play coming up this weekend, but got a night to 
outplay each other for Virginia foes meeting again.